Hello, fifth graders. This is chapter two, lesson two of the Ecosystem Restoration Unit. We already did activity one. Remember, we are skipping activity two, so we're going to go ahead and get started with activity three. Before we really dive in, I want you to turn back to page 37 of your Ecosystem Restoration Workbook or turn to page four of your chapter two, lesson two, activity packet and discuss or think about some of the ideas you recorded from the book with someone near you or in your head. Go ahead and pause the video to do this now. Now we'll synthesize information from different sources to come to a new understanding about how plants get food molecules. We are going to be looking at our book, Energy Makes It All Go, and our ecosystem restoration simulation. These two sources are going to help us get a new understanding to answer the question, where do food molecules for plants come from? Before we begin, and before we lo start looking at the simulation, I want you to think back to the book that you just read and answer this question. What new understandings did you get from the book? To answer this question, you can write your answer in your chapter two, lesson two activity packet in a notebook, you can talk to someone around you, or you can think about the answer in your head. Pause the video and do this now. Next, we'll observe the simulation again to look for ideas about where plants get their food molecules. So we are going to observe the ecosystem restoration simulation to look for ideas about where plants get their food molecules. So let's go ahead and open that simulation. Okay, so I'm going to press play and let's just uh, observe again what we notice. So we have our plants, our rabbits, mushroom, and wolves. Remember the gray diamonds are carbon dioxide that's in the air. Our sun is giving us energy. Our soil, we have our nutrients and water. So I'm going to go ahead and see what happens if I take away the sun. So now let's observe. So I am noticing it did not take very long for the plants to start to wither. This makes a lot of sense since in our book, energy makes it all go. Sunlight was a very important part of what was going on. So let's keep watching and see what happens. So I'm noticing that the rabbits are starting to wither and die out. So if you notice the plants have a lot less matter, mushrooms have a lot more matter because remember those are decomposers. So now the plants are gone. Let's see what happens. The rabbits are starting to die a little bit more rapidly. And because of this, I'm going to assume that the wolves are going to start dying as well. So I'm going to go ahead and add the plants back and the sunlight back. And now what I am going to do is I am going to now get rid of the carbon dioxide in the ecosystem and see what happens there. It looks like adding the sun restored balance throughout the ecosystem, but now it looks like the plants are starting to wither again without carbon dioxide. I wonder why that is happening. And I think we know from our last observation without the sun, without plants, then the rabbits will start to die and then the wolves will start to die. So let's go ahead and add carbon dioxide back. And now let's remove some water and see what is going to happen now without water. Okay, it looks like the plants and the rabbits are starting to wither. The plants are totally gone now. There is a lot of matter with our mushrooms or our decomposers, because remember they get energy from droppings or dead organisms. So now the rabbits are gone and it looks like the wolves are starting to die out. So let's go ahead and add back the water, back the rabbits and the plants. 
So what I am noticing is that we need a balance of all of these elements for a nice balanced ecosystem. So let's go ahead and pause the sim and move back to our present. So now that we have read the book and re-looked at our simulation, the next question you are going to answer is, what information or new ideas did you get from the sim that help you understand how plants get food molecules? To answer this question, you can write your answer in your chapter two, lesson two activity packet in a notebook. You can talk about the answer with someone near you, or you can think about your answer in your head. Pause the video and answer this question now. My next question is, if you put all your ideas together from the simulation and from the book, what new understanding do we come to about where food molecules for plants come from? To answer this question, you can write the answer in your chapter two, lesson two activity packet. You can talk about the answer with someone near you, or you can think about your answer in your head. Go ahead, pause the video, and answer this question. That concludes our lesson two for chapter two. Thank you so much. I'll see you for lesson three.